you came into this environment specifically to discern your personal and important preferences and once you figure it out and it isn't hard is it because when you know what you don't want you know what you do want so once you have an idea once you've launched that vibrational rocket of desire everything in the universe moves forward to assist you in the having of it you are a vibrational being and when you launch these very heartfelt very sincere very personal rockets of desire about what matters to you source hears and everything moves into place in order to fulfill your desire when you are moving down the path of least resistance which is the path of most allowance to a vibrational stance or practice behavior practice state of vibrational flow that holds you consistently in a vibrational pattern of allowing what you want then you are in what we want to call the receiving mode you are in the receptive mode you are in the mode where that thought can turn to the thing you want that vibration can turn to the thought you want that thought can turn to the word you want that word can turn to the exposure to the experience to the evolution of the desire until you have a full-blown manifestation of what you want we want you to understand that there are manifestations all along the way that that vibration itself is a manifestation while it's so subtle that you are usually not perceiving it but once that vibration that you are holding or that combination of vibrations that you're holding once you've held them long enough that they begin by law of attraction to gain enough momentum that you begin to feel an emotion around them that emotion is a manifestation of a practiced vibration you see you are so much more than these physical bodies that you have dragged here you are so much more you were vibration you were consciousness you were source energy before you got here and you still are that non-physical part of you still exists and is giving you feedback all the time feedback meaning a vibrational offering about who you now are who you now really are that larger part of you since it still exists and still is offering a clear signal can be felt by you through your emotions because when you're on the wavelength of that clear signal you feel the flow you feel the connection you feel the wholeness the fullness what you might call love what we like to call appreciation we want to awaken within you a keen awareness of your own guidance system we want you to understand that your emotions guide you to what we consider to be the most important concept of everything that we teach here and that is the path of least resistance we want to put the emphasis not upon what you're doing we want to put the emphasis upon the basis of how you feel because if you can get a handle on taking the path of least resistance which means the path of the thoughts that feels the best early on then what happens is you join forces with the whole of who you are you offer a vibrational signal that is irrefutable that is undeniable that brings about harmonics of this universe in a fashion that few of you are yet to understand and very few of you are yet to experience on an ongoing basis while every single one of you could do it today you create your own reality and the way you do that is by offering a vibration and you offer your vibration by the attention that you give to things once you have defined what you want if you could just decide that you are going to give your attention to what you want and spend no time defending anything so that your path is this clear path then you'll have it because when you're on the wavelength of that clear signal you feel the flow you feel the connection you feel the wholeness the fullness what you might call love what we like to call appreciation you are an eternal consciousness eternal we can't find a bigger longer word than that you are forever you never cease to be you are a consciousness that expands and it is the expansion that gives you the most delight 
it's how we all are we are all that consciousness and we cannot really accurately separate the consciousness that is us from the consciousness that is you we are consciousness delighted in expansion humans call that consciousness God but you mess it up when you do you stand in this non physical consciousness and you decide to focus yourself into an environment that is more tangible and because you're so good at it you become a physical fetus and then a physical human being and you are born into an environment that is substantial that has a platform that you can bounce off of and you bring this pure consciousness that is you into this environment because you know those that have been living before you came into your body have created an environment that will stimulate you to new ideas and you took delight in that so you come into the body and you sift and sort and without even consciously knowing you're doing it because your human brain and your human personality has not matured to the place that you're really making big comparisons with lots of momentum you're just li living in this environment of well-being but you are perceiving and you are coming to your own conclusions and you are launching vibrational rockets of desire and you are expanding so the consciousness that was you before you came into this body is expanding now that you are in this body and because you are in this body so now you have become so much more as consciousness since you've been in this body and that source that is you feels the fullness of what you've become and revels in it constantly delights in it continuously basks in the perfection that is you feel that just for a minute that's what worthy feels like if you can find it basks in the perfection that is you and it is that feeling it's that pulsing vibration that you are always reaching for that's what we want you to soothe yourself to we want you to soothe yourself to because when you accomplish that being here oh you'll all get there when you croak <laughs> off you'll go and there you'll be happy for all that you've become but we don't think you should have to croak in order to experience at here at this pointed leading edge the fullness of all that you've become you see so so then we want to ask you why do you define yourself through lackful terms when you've become all of this well it's because you've trained yourself to look through physical eyes we're wanting to train you to feel through vibrational senses we want you to feel your way to it not think your way to it find the feeling and then let the thoughts follow that's what that soothing is and so you say how do I do it yeah. you do it by saying it's all right I'm just fine all is well they're there everything's all right perfect place perfect time this is who I am I was born to be here I'm on my path this is the trajectory of who I am I'm pure positive energy everything's just right I could not be doing it better I'm following inspiration I'm getting better at that all the time pure positive energy surrounds me I'm adored this environment that surrounds me inspires me to more I'm constantly achieving it I never get it done I can't get it wrong all is really well with me I feel good so much of the time pure positive energy surrounds me all is well it's all right it's all right everything's all right I'm doing just fine I'm doing really good source adores me I feel the inspiration all the time ideas are flowing I receive the ideas I get inspiration sometimes I don't feel like doing something that's inspiration too sometimes I want rest that's inspiration too sometimes there's more resistance than I can overcome that's all right it will return there's an ebb and flow in all of this sometimes I have more resistance I know it I feel it sometimes I have less resistance I know it I feel it everything's working out just fine I put it in the vortex it is inevitable my well-being is assured I'm supposed to be having fun here life is supposed to be fun my inner being is delighting in the life that I've carved out it's time for me to delight in the life that I've carved out in other words it's just talking to yourself like that no specific terms just general terms we want to ask all of you do you create your own reality yes 
Is this a vibrational universe? Yes. Are you singular here in your physical body? Are you more? Yes. Is there, is there, are your emotions, are your emotions an indication of the blend of the perspectives of you? That's the thing that you got to get your head around. You have a source energy perspective that you've got to blend with if you are to be happy. Oh, we can't say it more clear. You have a source energy perspective of everything and especially a perspective of you that you have got to in your now blend with if you are to be happy. Yeah. You cannot look at yourself in bogus ways and be happy. You cannot argue for your limitations and be happy. You cannot beat up on yourself about what you should have done or even what you should be doing right now and be happy. Yeah. You've got to make peace with yourself. You've got to make it all right where you are. It has to be all right that you don't make your bed and it has to be all right that you lay there all day if you feel like it. It has to be all right. You have to stop letting other humans who need you to do conditional things so that they can be conditionally happy guide you away from what true love is, you see. Yeah. And as you get there more often, you'll stay there more. And, and then those moments when you're not there will just be the freaky moments that they are. And you'll just laugh about it. You'll find yourself laughing at things that you used to get mad at. They'll just be funny. They'll just be funny. That You'll laugh at things that used to irritate you because, because your energy will just keep shifting and shifting and shifting. The source, your source, your inner being never takes eyes or attention from you. Now, that could make you feel a little on the spot. <laughs> in other words, everything that we are is happening right here in this moment where you are, right here in this moment where you are. And so we want you to sort of get used to the importance that you are through through what you are we're perceiving life and you can't mess it up for us but the fact that we're perceiving so strongly through you if you're not on our wavelengths you won't feel good so what do i do you say chill out <laughs> chill out be easier have more fun Try to feel about yourself like we do. When, 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 when you don't get out of bed, we don't care. <laughs> we don't care. We're not saying, oh, she didn't get out of bed again. She didn't get out of bed again. We had such high hopes for her. We had such high hopes for her and there she is not living up to her potential. How much potential can she possibly live up to if she doesn't get out of bed? That's your translation. And yeah. you couldn't feel that way if we, if we were not there loving you anyway. In other yeah. words, that, that's that contrast that we're talking about. Yeah. Don't you feel like letting yourself off the hook? Yeah. Don't you feel like letting everybody else off the hook? Yeah. Don't you feel like just go, looking for love in the right places for yeah. a while? Yeah. Not being so conditional in everything that you're doing? And yeah. just, yeah. you came yeah. for fun. You came for the, when you're really good at something and you are, wouldn't you want to be born in an environment where you could be really good at it? Look at the resources that surround you. Don't you want to let them formulate to please you? When you're looking so hard to get on your path, you're putting up resistance that keeps you from finding it. If you can take this worthiness that we accomplished here together, you were feeling it. You were, you were feeling it. And you can accept that that's your point of attraction and that your path is coming to you and that your singular work is to keep from putting the resistance up which means whenever you feel a little resistance going up soothe it soothe it soothe it as best you can if thoughts come to you like i should be doing different say right out loud to yourself i'm doing just fine if someone else says you should be different than you are say right out loud i'm doing just fine i'm on my path my path is coming to me everything's unfolding perfectly for me you see, these things we know about you. We know the contrast that you've been sifting and we know what you put in your vortex. But even more than that, we know who you were coming in. That source that is you 
feels the fullness of what you've become 